x squared plus x cubed equal to x to the 5 and x is real number. We want to solve this and find all possible values of x that x is a real number. So first, we want to divide both sides by x squared. But under what condition we can do this if x is not 0? So we consider two cases. If x is 0, obviously it is an answer because left hand side and right hand side will be 0. Second case, x is not 0. So our main equation is x squared plus x cubed equal to x to the 5. We divide both sides by x squared. So it will be x squared over x squared plus x cubed over x squared equal to x to the 5 over x squared. By power rule, we know that a to the m over a to the n equal to a to the m minus n. Now we can conclude x squared over x squared is 1 x cubed minus x squared is x to the 3 minus 2 which is 1 and x to the 5 minus x to the 2 is x to the 5 minus 2 x cubed. Now we want to solve this. We take all things to one side. x cubed minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And we want to see this equation has how many real solutions. So let's consider f of x equal to this. f of x equal to x cubed minus x minus 1. And we consider the derivative f prime x equal to. 3x squared minus 1. Know that if you want to differentiate, it will be nx n minus 1. So it will be this and differentiate. If you differentiate from negative 1, it will be 0. From negative x, it will be negative 1. Now, we want to see in what parts f prime is positive means f is increasing. If you want to check, it is greater than 0 is equivalent to 3x squared greater than 1. And it is equivalent that x squared is greater than 1 over 3. And then we conclude x is greater than 1 over root 3. Union x is less than negative 1 over root 3 by solving this equation. Now we conclude what? It is positive means f prime is positive means f is increasing. In what condition? x greater than 1 root 3 and less than negative root 3. So if x is greater than 1 over root 3, union x less than negative 1 over root 3, then we conclude f prime is positive and f is increasing. Otherwise, means what? If x is greater than negative root 3, less than 1 over root 3, we can easily conclude f prime is negative, so f is decreasing. Now, we want to consider the diagram approximate. If we consider the diagram, we can draw y-axis, x-axis, so it is 1 over root 3, it is negative 1 over root 3, and f of x is what? x cubed minus x minus 1. f of x is x cubed minus x minus 1. So f of 1 over root 3 is 1 over root 3 cubed minus 1 over root 3 minus 1. And it will be 1 over root 3 times root 3 times root 3 will be 3 root 3 minus 1 over root 3 minus 1. And it will be 3 root 3 in the denominator. 1 minus 3 minus 3 root 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 minus 3 root 3 over 3 root 3. So in 1 over root 3, we will see a negative number. It will be here. It's less than 0. Okay, now let's consider f of negative 1 over root 3. We want to calculate f of this point. It will be, if we use this part, it will be negative 1 over root 3 cubed minus negative 1 over root 3 
minus it will be negative 1 over 3 root 3 plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. And if you use common denominator, it will be 3 root 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 3 root 3. Look, these things that we are working on is useful in problems of American Mathematical Olympiad of Mathematics competition, AMC, AMI, and BMO. You, you can have a good view by knowing these things. And also in HMMT, Harvard, MIT Math Tournament, and also for Stanford and other things. So it is what? Three. If you want to learn all these things, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. It will be this. 2 is less than 3 root 3 because root 3 is greater than 1 and 2 minus that is negative. So, this is a negative number near to this. Now, we said, if x is less than negative root 3, it is increasing. So, we have something like this. Then, between these two numbers, it is decreasing. So, it is decreasing to reach this. After x greater than 1 over root 3, it is increasing. So we understand that we have only one root, one real root. That is also that root is greater than 1 over root 3. So we should try to find one answer. And we call this answer alpha. And we want to find, oh, let's call this, for example, x0. We want to find x0. So let's work on this x cubed minus x minus 1 equal to 0. I conclude x cubed equal to x plus 1. I multiply both sides by 18. Maybe you ask how we can understand that we should multiply by 18. If you want to learn these things and find know the idea behind this product, all these things, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Now, in next step, I say we have 18. 18x 18 cubed. So... If I consider left hand side as x root 18 cubed, okay, it is equal to, let's write first 18 plus, for 18x, I say it is x root 18 times, ah, uh -huh, sorry, cube root of 18 because to the power of 3, cube root of 18 times. Let's consider also 3 times cube root of 12. Again, how we can consider this thing? You can take 3 outside and you will reach this if you take this. Now I consider changing variable. I consider, let me see, I've not used y. No, no, no. Okay, or let's consider, for example, this for w. This part will be also W, so W cubed equal to 18 plus 3 times cube root of 12 times W. Now, before solving the rest, let me tell you an important identity. That if we have A plus B cubed, we can say it is A cubed plus B cubed plus 3AB times A plus B. Now, if you see this, w cubed, 18 plus 3 times something times w. Look, w here, w cubed. So I say, let's consider w as a plus b. Okay? If we consider w equal to a plus b, then w cubed will be a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. So we understand. We should find a and b such that a cubed plus b cubed equal to 18 and ab equal to this part. Cube root of 12. Now, here we say mm, we can write a as because it is 18 a cubed can be 9 plus something, 9 minus something. So I can say a is, so let's consider a cubed is 9 plus t and b cubed is 9 minus t. Okay? And then we want to find t. 
So if you use this, let's consider first, uh -huh, from this part also a cubed, b cubed will be what? Will be 12. And if you combine these things, a cubed is 9 plus t, b cubed is 9 minus t, it is equal to 12. So it is what? 9 times 9, 81 minus 90 plus 90 will be cancelled minus t squared equal to 12. So 81 minus 12 equal to t squared. 81 minus 12 will be 69. So if we consider, so t will be what? We can consider t as square root of 69. You can also consider negative root 69. It's not important. A cube will be, cube will be switched. So a cubed will a cubed is 9 plus root 61. So a is 9 cube root of 9 plus square root of 61. And b will be cube root of 9 minus root 61. And now we can conclude what? We can conclude w. We found w is what? W is a plus b, which is cube root of 9 plus root 61 plus cube root of 9 minus square root of 60. And now it's time to find x. What was the relationship between x and w? If we let me delete these things, we don't need them anymore. Okay, now here we said w is x times cube root of 18. So w is x times cube root of 18. So x is what is w over cube root of 18. So if we consider this, x will be 1 over cube root of 18 times cube root of 9 plus square root of 61 plus cube root of 9 minus square root of 61. So it is our answer. Okay, so we found two real solutions for this problem. First solution was so much easy. It was zero and we proved that we have one more solution when we divided by x squared here, we prove that we have one more solution, x0, and x0, that is our second real solution, is x equal to this number. Okay, if you want to learn more ideas and want to know how, when you should multiply by 18, in other case, you should multiply by what number you should consider, what identities, if you want to learn important ideas in algebra, number theory, combinatorics, geometry, calculus and other topics uh, that are useful in math exams feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments and you can use my other playlists i released many videos that you can improve your problem solving by them okay please don't forget to subscribe turn on notification like the video thanks for watching this video bye